53 hours, nearly 54. We're finally on the Sith planet, the home of the Sith, Corbin. Let's load in and see what kind of evil deeds we can get into. But welcome back to a, another session of our Star Wars Knights of the Republic Dark Side playthrough. The last time we played, we ran into a little bit of trouble when we were traveling, you know, we got picked up by the Leviathan and had an escape and all this stuff. And, and oh yeah, there was a big reveal um, that happened relating to uh, Revan. So once we got that bombshell dropped on us, um, we had some discussions with our crew members and they're all still in it. They're, they're ride or die, so to speak. And then we made it to Corbin, finally. I've been looking forward to this for a very long time. Pretty much since we started this game. Just because I know the stuff that we get into here and the Sith history and stuff like that. And the fact that we are, you know, a dark side character, as dark as we can be. Uh, I'm looking forward to... You know, being bad here, being in my element. So, we didn't do much the last time that we streamed because we we spent most of the time on the Leviathan, um, and we just talked to a couple of people over here. There's a shop that opened up, and then we triggered Juhani's companion quest, I think, and then we messed around with uh, some teacher over here. And his students, and we were just making our way through here. So we have Zerka Store, Cantina, and Corbin, which leads to the Sith Academy. So we're gonna go out there and check that stuff out. But first, we gotta explore over here, talk to people. Let's look over our quest real fast. Uh, threat from Zor. That's I think that's Juhani's, and then the Premium Merchant. So not too much going on. Just barely starting this planet, so... Let's see. And I'm also hoping that most people on this planet speak in English. So I don't have to translate as much. I feel like this is the one planet out of all of them, except... Well, probably Terrace. Um, that would have... You know... English speaking... Uh, people. Br Brie. Bray. I don't know. Brie. Well, when I say that, and I have to translate. Greetings! Say, aren't you the one who won the swoop race on Manon? I'm a big fan. I don't think there's swoop racing here. I hope we can find something suited to a celebrity like you. Is there anything you'd like? Okay, good. This guy's just a merchant. What do you got? Weapons? I got connections. You'll need them. You're gonna spend any time here. I got lightsabers. Uh, why so? There are a lot of Sith on this planet. This is where they come to study. Obnoxious brats? A lot of them. Just between you and me, I'll never understand why everyone thinks Dark Side and Hooligan should be the same thing. What? They're definitely dangerous, so that's why you probably need weapons. <laughs> Not that they'll be much help. What connections do you have? Mandalorian raiders occasionally drop by and needed to get rid of some extras that they can't sell in civilian systems. They treat me well, I treat them well, it works out. If you need weapons, and you probably will, this is the place to come. Why will I need weapons? That's yeah, it's just uh, same stuff. Let's see what you got. What do you got, dude? Cassis Fett's heavy pistol. Ooh, ten thousand credits. Now I don't think I got his armor. That was on Dantooine, which we can't even go to now. So, yeah, I don't. We can buy the gun at least. It is it is a pistol though. So that you could use that on Karth or Mission. 
Not so much like for Candorous and HK, I like them using a rifle. A two-hander. So but yeah, I don't know, that might be kind of good to get. 10,000. It's just like when it comes to this game and spending credits, it's tough because you don't get a lot of credits. Or at least I don't. I've been doing every single quest. I'm hardly buying things, but you know, that's, that's the way we live. Look here, my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony. Oh. Led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before. Have you? I hate Jedi. And these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lasho. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. Korriban. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that? Hmm? Mm. I don't think there's any need for hostilities. You could try to kill me. You'd fail, but you can try. I think that's a lot of responsibility for simple scum like you. Ooh. Yeah, we'll say that. How precocious. I think this one tried to make a joke, don't you? I didn't think it was funny. Neither did I. A brave face, perhaps, but I'm more interested in being amused at the moment, I think. What do you say? Amuse us. Make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. I'm Darth Revan. Watch your tongue or I'll rip it out. Ah ha ha ha. Very funny. All right, that was good. I'm not looking for trouble, but I'm not here to amuse. Trash option. Be careful. You might be heading for more trouble than you can handle. Eh. You really want to fight? Just make your first move. It'll be your last. All right. All right. We're getting better. Or, okay, these two Mandalorians are out in the woods. I kind of want to know where that goes, but I imagine that not much else gets uh, said. So which one should I say? Number one seems like we're going to get laughed at. Even though it's true. Uh, we don't want to tell them to be careful. Hmm. If you really want to fight, just make the first move. It'll be your last. What? <laughs> I think someone just stood up to yeah. you. Yeah. Shut up, fool, unless you want to be next. Yeah? Anytime. Stop it. This is boring. Let's just go back to the academy. Fine, we'll go. As for you, I'll find you later. Trust me on that. All right. I forgot what her name is. Lars Show or something like that. They said it twice, but I didn't listen. Well, there isn't much to do in Dresh Day except have a drink till your ship's ready to go. Dresh Day. The Sith are about. Probably even watching us in here. Don't bet they ain't. Don't bet they ain't. You guys got some books over here. Well, there isn't much to do in Dresh Day except. You're not here to try to get into the Sith Academy, are you? Most of the poor fools who try are killed by the Sith. It's horrible. This planet belongs to the Sith. They allow Zerka to run the starport and a few mines, but the Sith are the ones in control. Hmm. Okay. Gotta keep saving. Save and save often, man. Save and save often. Okay, let's talk to Zerka Corp before heading into the cantina area. What do we got over here? Something you need? Who are you? Nobody you need to know. I'm just here to try to get into the Sith Academy. Why would you... Why would you want to get into the Academy? Why? Why? That's really a dumb why? question. To become a Sith, of course. To wield the greatest power in the galaxy. Why not join the Jedi? Ha! <laughs> They're weaklings. Not worth anyone's attention. It's the Sith that are going to conquer the galaxy, after all. What do you think your chances are? I don't know. I've been here for a few days now, and the Sith still haven't paid me any attention. Suppose I should consider myself lucky. I've heard of some of the prospects getting killed. 
Still, it's all a test, and I'll just have to be you strong. You laugh at that. Your uh, Twilight friend just laughed at you. How does someone get into the academy? Well, you have to impress one of the Sith. Oh, I can the do that. Final decision rests with Uthura Ban. However, she's the one who decides exactly which of us get into the academy or not. I've been hanging out, hoping she'll come by and notice me. To be honest, Uthura Banta. Or ba <laughs> Why did I call? I just insulted uh, Uthura Ban. Usually she's in the academy, but sometimes she comes out into the colony to look for prospects. If she's in the colony, she can usually be found in the cantina, but not always. She's one of okay. the most powerful Sith in the academy, I hear. I better not say that then. Okay, that's it. Yeah, go on. Go on, mate. Talk to your friend here. The Circa Cantina is the only place to go around here for any real fun. English. There are a lot of young folk who come here hoping to get admitted to the Sith Academy here in Dreshde. Few ever do. Talk to the, just hear the random stuff. The Sith blew up Terrace, the entire planet. I guess they must have deserved it. Mm -hmm. <gasps> That's so many people. I've had two friends killed by the Sith already. It must be some kind of test. I'll survive and make it into the Academy. I know it. Pretty sure that's Azula. Again. I've had two friends killed by the Sith already. One of Korriban's primary trade routes went through Terrace. Now that it's destroyed, the colony here will have an even harder time of it. One of Korriban's primary trade routes went through Terrace. Now that it's destroyed, the colony. Hmm. Aren't you the human who won the swoop race on Manan? Oh yeah. Congratulations and well done. It was most exciting to watch. It is an honor to have you in our Thank offices. You, sir. How may Zerka serve you? Well, let's see. What does Zerka do here on Corbin? It's it's. I say Corbin because it just sounds better than Coraban, Coraban, Corbin. We do some mining here. So I'm gonna say it. And are responsible for local shipping and support of the Sith on Coraban. Our starport is mostly Korriban. just freighters and such, but we do get many travelers that come here to learn from the Sith. I must say, Zerka is in need of droids right now. That's a mighty fine looking one you have there. Objection. This unit is not for sale, meatbag. Uh, <laughs> yes, of course. No offense meant. <laughs> Touchy, isn't it? This office yeah, is tell actually him. our administrative headquarters for this region. Rather inauspicious, isn't it? We offer good prices here to those traders that keep the colony supplied. If you're in need of anything, this is the place to come. Zerka works with the Sith. Well, why not? Well, why this not? is Sith space now, and True. the company has to survive regardless of who is in charge. The Republic, the Sith, eh, the economy has to keep going. Now, was there anything else? Uh, can I ask? We'll look at a stock last. Questions about the colony? Certainly. What can you tell me about the colony? There truly isn't much to tell, citizen. Okay. Dresh Day was established by the Sith, and we arrived to take advantage of some of the planet's mineral wealth. The only thing that's really unusual about Dresh Day, I suppose, is that the Sith built their academy on the east side of the colony. You don't find those just anywhere. Have you heard of the star map? A star map? We sell navigational components, if that's what you mean. I want to take these, this stupid visor thing off. It's, uh... I want to see my character's eyes. No, I mean as in old ruins. Well, the Sith have some old ruins that interest them up on the surface of the planet. If this map of yours is there, however, they've said nothing about it. Okay. What do you know about the Sith Academy? Not much. The Sith are a rather secretive lot, and they don't allow many into the Academy. I hear they claim that Korriban was inhabited long ago by other Sith, but no one really knows if that's true. The planet is certainly uninhabited outside of Dreshde, and always has been. Who is allowed into the into the academy? Only prospective students. We get many who come here each year hoping to get picked. Many are simply considered too weak, I'm afraid. Well, I understand that's there's definitely one not person us. amongst the Sith who decides which students are worthy. Euthura Ban, I believe her name is. Euthura is in the cantina. Other than in the academy itself, I'm sorry, I don't know. We heard already. How can one reach the ruins? On the surface. Zerka sends freighters to the surface every now and again to ferry artifacts to the core. The men are not allowed out of their ships, however, as only Sith are allowed on the surface. Beyond that, I really can't say. 
very important that you tell me what you know. They... they call the site the Valley of the Dark Lords. Ancient Sith are buried in tombs there, along with many artifacts of old. Ooh. Some of great power, apparently. I'm stealing everything. Else. Neither will you, I'm sure. Only the Sith students are allowed access to the site. I am stealing everything in the Valley of the Lords. Do come again. Okay, but look at your stock. I suppose you've heard about the destruction of Taurus, yes? Awful business, that. Zerka lost a fortune there. Not that the Sith care. I know, such a simple, simple place. What do you got to offer? You certainly can. Allow me to punch up our stock. Life support. Exar Kun's light battle suit. 6,000. Attributed to Exar Kun, this armor may well have been worn by the Dark Lord prior to his defeat 40 years ago. It was rarely without considerable yet flexible personal armor. <sighs> it might be kind of cool to buy. We've heard about Exar Kun quite a bit in this game. Kraith Holy Battle Suit. Many crates sought to be guards of their dark temples and armor of this type. Cynics dismissed this fervor, noting that guard duty was safer than participating in military slave raids. Same thing too. What the freak is the Kraith? Or the Krath? I'm kind of curious to see like... um. That stuff's any good. Ver Verpine Ocular Enhancer. Dexterity Demolitions. Damn, dude. So I might want to check this out. Check the armor out. Yeah, let's. here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. I always like doing this. Since uh, the last time we streamed, and I probably should have done it, it was like, let's buy stuff and see if it looks cool, right? See if it looks nice, how it looks, if it's worth buying or not. I'm not going to buy, I guess I'll buy both of them, I guess. The two power armors, this thing, I guess. I just want to see what it looks like on my character and stuff. So, Gino Harden thing, get out of here. What does this look like on my character? That looks okay. Still not great, though. We are supposed to get some sort of mask here, though. That should look kind of nice. Did I try this on? Gino Harden thing? Don't remember. Um, okay, we gotta do the the craft holy suit. This better look dope. Mm. That was gonna be like all white or silver or something. Let's try the other one. Heavy armor. It's the same thing, kind of the same colors. Alright, now I'm looking like Cyclops from X-Men. In this getup. I'm legit looking like Cyclops. You know what? I think I might buy that. Uh, let's do a quick, quick reload. I think I might buy that thing, but not right now. Uh, let me go ahead and take this off. I don't want anything on. Go about your business, please, citizen. Why are we doing back here? Why is there food on this table? This looks like a repair spot. I don't to tell you, man. Okay. What do we got? Who is this? Lurz, Lurze Kesh. Lurz Kesh. What's up, dude? 
You there, human. You're the one flying the Ebon Hawk now. I saw you disembarking earlier. Whoa. Who wants to know? The name's Lurs. Not that it's important. I don't know you, you don't know me. What's important is that we've been waiting for the shipment for a month now. I suppose we should be grateful that the shipment survived Terrace at all, though, right? Anyway, hand it over. Let's finish this. Hand what over? Wait a minute, don't you work for Davik? Just how is it that you happen to be flying the Ebon Hawk anyway? Davik's dead, I presume? I stole the Ebon Hawk from him? What business is it of yours? The Ebon Hawk is mine now. We'll say that. I don't want to tell him that I stole it. Even though it might be okay. Fair enough. To be honest, I don't really care what happened to Davik or how you got the ship. I'm interested in something else. We had arranged for several kilograms of spice to be shipped to us here aboard the Ebon Hawk. Perhaps Davik left it on board? I suspect if it is, it would be in the container we gave him, locked and requiring a code. Might you have seen such a thing, human? Yes. I know where that is. Um... I may have. How much is it worth to you? 1,000 credits. And perhaps more if you're interested. What do you say to that? Man, I gotta say... There's a lot of deals in this game where they are lowballing. Like 1,000 credits? I'll pay you 500 credits for this crucial information about kidnappings and... All this sort of stuff. And who killed who? It's like... It's very lowballing. Come on, man. Why not like 10,000? Where's what's what's going on here? Everyone's got credits, all right? It's like when they talk about some something being rich or somebody being rich, it's like, "Oh yeah, 2,000 credits, man." No. It's not rich. I could take a look for it. Excellent. Set the code on the container to red 47. When you see the spice, bring it here. I'll wait for you. All right, let's just go do this right now, I guess. Uh, who mentions there's a container on board the Ebon Hawk filled with spice? Uh, let's go take care of this right now. Might as well. Since we're down here. We shouldn't have to run back after this, but you never know. But I'll still bring out HK and Juhani. Um, let's take care of this now. Get my money. Loading the Ebon Hawk. down in this room here. We're here in this strange compartment. The secret compartment is still locked. That's a very, that's a very close up shot of where I am looking at right now. Great. Uh, red 47, please. The hidden compartment is now unlocked. Spice. All right, what is this? Drugs? Is this Dune? What is the description of spice? I'm just curious here. The term spice has come to describe a wide variety of stimulants mined on a number of worlds, but the highly coveted glitter stem found on Kessel is by far the most precious. All right. We got your drug, sir. I'll use my speed to get down there quick. I 
HK-47 is lost. Stuck. Well, luckily I'm not leaving this area. Yet. How long is it going to take for him to get over here? You have the spice? Yes. So you do. That does indeed look like the amount Davik promised. Very well. A thousand credits is yours for the exchange. I don't work for Davik. Remember, I want more. Make it 2,000 or I hand this package over to the authorities. Ooh. We'll try this. If it fails, then we'll try this one. I suppose we should count ourselves fortunate that you're here to deliver on Davik's promise at all. 1,500 credits, human, and but no more. Here you are. You drive a hard bargain, human. Allow me to take the spice off your hands. My employers will be most pleased. Tell me, might you be interested in earning more credits? Uh, yes. Tell me more. It is a simple courier mission. Mod of the Hut on Tatooine awaits delivery of a box that I hold. The spice was his. The box is his repayment. There is no danger involved, human, as long as you do not attempt to open the box yourself. I'm sure Mata will pay you what he promised Davik for the delivery. I believe 2,000 credits was the deal upon the agreed upon sum. Uh, why don't you just bring it to him yourself? I suppose I would eventually have to, should you refuse. You are here, however. You have a ship. It is most convenient to have you deliver the box. Okay, what happens if I open the box? It looks like a fish right here. Talking to the fish. Never open the box. Opening the box would be horribly bad. But what would happen? Is it a bomb? It is not a bomb. Just don't open it. That is all I can say. It represents no danger to you as long as it's remained closed. Uh, ah, I should have put tried like 3,000 credits. I will do this, but I'm not leaving the planet right now to do it. So. That's why my workers load the boxes onto the Ebon Hawk for you. It'll be waiting for you there. Do not open the box. All right. Oh, we're definitely opening the box. I'll just uh, save before doing it. Unfinished business. Okay. We'll do that way down the line. You know what? It's time to level up, y'all. Time to get that level 18. Skills. All right, we don't need to do repair anymore because HK's done. So where do I want to put points into? Treat injury, I guess? At the same time, probably not. So just awareness. Okay, powers. Now, I've already have my powers planned out. Level 18 unlocks Death Field and Four Storm. So I, at level 18, I can get one of them. At 19, I can get another. And at 20, I'll probably take Force Wave. So these will be my last three Force Points that I get the rest of the game. Um, Because I don't need any of this other stuff. So let's go with Force Storm first. Then Death Field will be the next one we get. There you go. All-powerful Sith Lord... The Drunk Side is the name of the cantina. That's good. Very good. Do you know where I can find Yuthura Ban? I understand she's the one who determines if you're accepted into the academy or not. What do you want? Are you? Wait, what? Who are you? I'm trying to get into the Sith Academy. Around here, they call us hopefuls. OK, this is, yep, this is Azula. It was like the third time I've heard her in this game. Why would you want to get to the Academy? Well, that's the only way to become a Sith, isn't it? In the Academy, you learn to use the Force. 
Why not join the Jedi? After the Sith conquer the galaxy, there aren't going to be any more Jedi, are there? I guess I'd rather join the winning side. How do you think your chances are? I thought they were good, but I've been here for days now and I haven't drawn any attention at all. I suppose that might be good. I don't know. Some of the attention the Sith have shown to other helpfuls has been pretty deadly. Uh, how does someone go? How does someone get to the academy? We already know this. Uh, I wish nice. I knew to tell you the truth. You have to impress one of the Sith, I guess. Either way, it's Yuthura Barn who makes the final decision. She's a Twi'lek Sith Master, I hear. Very high rank. She's the one who decides which hopefuls make it in and which ones don't. Where is Yuthura? I really couldn't say. I hear that sometimes she comes out into the colony to drink at the cantina, though. But I guess she could be anywhere. Okay, that's it. Alright. Goodbye. Meat bag. He's standing on duty. He's protecting me. Alright? That's why I love HK. The greatest droid to ever live. Alright, what do we got here? What do we got? That, that man has a name. Let's talk to the unimportant people. Terrace has been destroyed. This portends ill for the future, sen sentient. The Sith blew up Terrace, the entire planet. I guess they must. Papaki. You own the Ebon Hawk, don't you? Wish I could fly a bird like that. Yeah, dude, it's pretty nice. It's like one of the fastest ships in the galaxy, brother. You know? Greetings, friend. Fellow pilot, are you? Wouldn't mind taking a spin in the Ebon Hawk myself. Sleek ship, that one. Only if I can blindfold you, tie you down, arrest you, so you don't try to try anything funny. All right. I swear I'm not into this. I'm just trying to be safe. I don't want no one stealing the ship that I stole. All right. Does everyone here know about the Ebon Hawk? Jeez. In a small colony like this, everyone knows everyone's business. Pencil mustache. It's better than thinking too much about all the Sith lurking about here. The Hawk's been in and out of here for ages. And out of the way, Starport is a good place for, uh, privateers. Not saying you are one. What if I am? Wouldn't make any difference to me. Just wish I had a ship like that myself. Business is steady here with the Sith. But it's a boring haul. In case you're forgetting, partner, they don't exactly want us talking about their business. Ah, who cares about them? I've seen some of those things they're digging up in those ruins in the valley. Pretty creepy, if you ask me. What have they been digging up? Weird artifacts. Looks like alien stuff. Maybe aliens lived on Korriban a long time ago. Who knows? Don't be stupid. I was talking to one of those Sith, and he said there are tombs there dating back to when the Sith were here in ancient times. There were Sith here in ancient times? Sounds like he was feeding you a line. Korriban's only been settled for a short time. So says you. He said the planet was settled by the Sith a long time ago. And then they all left or something. Those tombs are really important to him. Tombs, that, that makes the stuff they send us even creepier. Wish I didn't have to haul it around. Uh, where do you take these things? More importantly, what kind of stuff do you... Are you hauling? We used to haul everything to Terrace, and the Sith would take it off our hands there. Not sure where we'll be bringing it now. Do you have any of these artifacts now? No, we're not due for another shipment for at least another week. Shit. How would one get into these excavations exactly? It's in a valley on the surface, beyond some mountains to the east. No land route. That's why they have us fly in. Shows what you know. Mm. The academy has a route through the mountain. That's how all their students get to the excavation site. Well, regardless, the Sith don't let anybody near that valley. Even when we land, they watch us like a Drebarian hawk and want us gone quickly. Want us gone quickly. So no one could sneak into the valley by ship. Not a chance. You'd be better off sneaking through the academy if you want to go to the valley. Ha! Now that'd be a sight to see. Precisely what we're doing. All right. Thanks, gentlemen. That's it. Sure thing. Good flying, friend. Safe travels. Okay. 